Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the question and answers video. Is it a video? I don't know. Is it? Anyways, I, well it is a video, but I don't know if there's actually such thing as called the question and answers video, but whatever. Anyways, so a few people recently asked me um, some questions that were either in private on YouTube or on my Facebook or my Instagram so I thought instead of answering the videos individ the videos instead of answering the questions individually I would just do a video and yeah so let's get started the first question is from Yanni and he asked me what was my all-time favorite food um I think my all-time favorite food would be my mom's homemade cabbage rolls um, or my mom's homemade lasagna. They're both like my all-time favorite foods. Kay asked me, what's my favorite movie? Um, I have a whole bunch of favorite movies, but I would have to say my top two are Mean Girls and I Am Sam. Okay, and... Tom asked, what's it like being a young mom? Personally, I don't really consider myself a young mom. I would consider a young mom someone who is 16 and under. I am almost 24 years old and I mean, I love being a mom. Sometimes it's hard, but when I have my family and friends who support me and are there for me and help me with whatever I need help with, it makes it easier um I don't know I would say me being so yeah um I would consider being a young mom really amazing I guess it's just because I've had it pretty easy with my son I haven't really gone any through rough times with him and like I said I have lots of support and stuff so I enjoy being a mom and I don't regret it at all. So Christian asked, what was your best subject in school? Um, I would have to say my best subject in school was probably mm, history or gym. I, go, I used to always get like really high grades in both those subjects so I would have to say history or gym. Sorry if I'm looking over there or over there. There's a mirror there so I can see myself and there's I don't know what's flying near my window if it's a bee or something but it's kind of like creeping me out so sorry. And then Marissa asked what was the first thing that ran through your mind when you found out you were pregnant? Um, I kind of already knew. Um, I didn't get my girly friend and I had waited for my mom to go outside and then I texted her and said I never got my period and what if I'm pregnant and blah 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 and I thought my mom was going to be like really pissed at me but she had said to me oh you should go to the doctors take a test and find out so I went to the doctors and took a test and found out and it came back positive and I still remember to this day I texted my mom she was in Burger King with my grandma and I found out I was pregnant with my son and I was extremely excited and happy I wasn't devastated I wasn't upset my mom never yelled at me she never kicked me out she never told me oh don't keep him she never said nothing negative to me to turn me against it at all so I guess it was I don't know. I don't really know what was running through my head because it all just kind of came easy to me. So, yeah. Bernadetta asked, what's your life like now that Mason's older and do you get a lot more alone time? And if yes, what do you do? My life is completely amazing with Mason now that he's older. It was amazing when he was younger. It's even more fun now because he's talking, he's doing things, he's learning, he's walking, he's just an all-around fun child so it is amazing with him that he's older um I do 
not get so much alone time, which isn't a problem to me. Um, my mom does babysit him quite often for me so I can go grocery shopping or shopping or, you know, to see a friend or wherever I need to go. That's when I get my alone time. If I need to go out somewhere and I can't take him, my mom will babysit him for me. And... If I do get alone time, I go see friends, go to the mall, go do my nails, I... Whatever I need to do, I do. So, yeah. Anthony asked, Did I want my first child to be a boy, and if I had a second, what gender would I want it to be? Yes, I 100% completely wanted my first child to be a boy, and I think if I ever had a second child, I would probably want a boy again, just because I'm a youth to having a boy and they're fun and I can just see me being one of those moms with a house full of boys so I would want a boy second as well. Elizabeth asked what's a childhood memory from Flamo that you have that you won't forget? So back when I was younger I used to live in this little ghetto area called Flamo and it was like my favorite place in the whole wide world. I didn't want to move from there. I had a million gajillion friends I was never home, I was always with people, it was just amazing. Um, so I have two memories from there. The first memory was when Elizabeth would come to my house and we would set up like a million gajillion Barbie things and just play Barbies with my sister. The second thing that I will never forget from there was one day my sister and I and my mom were walking out of our building and there was footsteps and handprints of blood everywhere. Like. I'm pretty sure someone was either stabbed or shot outside of my building and my mom was like oh my god we're moving we're not staying here we're getting out of here and then we moved and that was the end of Flamo so I was pretty young there but not really but I do have a lot more memories but I don't really care to ramble on about all of them um Jerome asked me what's the craziest thing you've done and do you regret it uh do I really share those on YouTube right now Mm, probably not. So, I think one of the craziest things I've ever done is probably have a baby. I know some people might not think that's crazy, but I never expected to be having a baby that soon. And no, 100% hands down, I do not regret having a baby. Um, I love my son and... I can't wait until I'm able to give him a sibling, I hope, one day, and I would never change it for anything in the whole wide world. And so the second craziest thing that I've ever done is, my mom's going to kill me, but whatever. So I was doing the dirty in a car with a guy that I won't mention his name, and it was winter time so the windows were like fogged up and then all of a sudden we hear a knocking on the window and some lady was yelling you need to get out of here you can't be here blah 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 and we didn't even look to see who it was we literally like just drove away because we were so scared um it was like hilarious and funny it was like whatever I don't regret it because it was a good time but I regret it because some random chick was knocking on the window saying we needed to get out of there uh, that was just random and awkward, and she killed the moment. Anyways, Katie asked me, why did I choose to go to an all-girls school, and why did I take the school bus? Thanks so much, Katie, for bringing this up. I love you so much. You went there too, sweetheart. Anyways, I chose to go to an all-girls school. I didn't choose, actually. I was going to an alternative school, and they thought that I should go to an all-girls school because I'll be able to focus, and I would get my grades up, and the whole nine yards. So they transferred me to an all-girls school, and because it was about an hour and a half away from my house, they told me I needed to take the school bus in order to attend. So that's why I had to take the school bus, and then eventually when I found out that I didn't need the school bus anymore, Okay, and the last question is from Alicia or Alicia. I'm sorry if I'm not saying your name right. She asked me, is it true that Canadian money smells like maple syrup? <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> when she asked me that, I had a really good laugh. Not because it was funny, just 
I was not expecting that question at all. No, I'm sorry, our money does not smell like maple syrup. Not only do I wish it did, but that would be really amazing. It just smells like ordinary money. It never smelled like maple syrup, it never will smell like maple syrup. Um, I could only wish for that, but no, I'm sorry, it does not, 100% does not smell like maple syrup. So yeah, those are just a few of the questions that some people have asked me. Some are random, some are cool, some are crazy, some are whatever they are. It was fun. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, you can comment down below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And also, somebody, I have to check who it was, dared me to do a video of eating chocolate covered bugs. I have eaten a bug in the future and it didn't phase me one whatsoever. There is a candy shop that I can go to and purchase chocolate covered bugs. So if you would like to see me eat some chocolate bugs, maybe with my sister or a friend or anybody who has some balls to do it, then we will do it. But you gotta like the video you gotta subscribe and comment down below if you want to see it thanks for watching see you later bye